I've just come out the back door and I've got this wee boy on the feeder and he's very cautious. This is a wee red pool and there's a gold finch on the other side and this is the first time I've had a red pool up here at our new house. Got them down on the lower Braniel Road but we are now on the middle Braniel Road and this is the first time I've had a red pool. I've had this feeder, this Niger feeder up for some considerable time now. Well, six months at least, a year. And the red pools have discovered it. Great looking wee bird. And the uh, colour is really uh, showing well in this sunlight. Every bite he takes, he's having a wee look round. Whereas the goldfinch isn't paying an awful lot of attention. Brilliant to see him. Niger seed will get you bullfinches, goldfinches, chaffinches, and red pole. And hopefully it'll attract in some of his chums. I'll take some meal. Very cautious, nevertheless. We have been living in this house for the last year and I've had these Niger seeds and uh, peanut seeds up here right through that whole year. And we're, we're well into May and this is the first red pool that I have seen at this Niger seed feeder and my question is you know that seed feeder is not very big and, night, night, and um, red pools are not uh, plentiful they are not they're, they're quite a rare wee bird um, they're very patchy uh, in and around Northern Ireland. You might get five or six here and five or six there and maybe ten miles away from each other. They're not like blue tits and great tits and and, and uh, uh, cold tits. They're not plentiful. Um, so here's my question. To anybody who's a bird watcher, and I, I would call myself a bird watcher, how did this lone red pool locate this feeding station? Was it flying over? Now, if it was flying over, you know, how did it see this? Has it got infrared? You know, it certainly didn't smell the seed. So it must, this, this seed must light up like a beacon, it must be infrared or something of that nature. Um, it certainly wasn't the other, the, the goldfinches that told it that the seed was here. Because, uh, uh, you know, uh, I presume a red pole wouldn't be able to understand what a, uh, you know, the song of a, a, of a goldfinch. And vice versa. So how did it do it? Was it just lucky? I don't think so. And as you can see, this feeder's in behind uh, a high wall. And it's, it's not easy to spot. So how the dickens did that wee bird, with its wee wee small eyes, uh, spot this particular seed that it loves? Don't know. The wonders of nature, folks. So many questions.